on the way in, it was kind of a crazy ride. I mean, five hours north of uh, Edmonton, and it was just mountain or hills and hills and hills, and there was smoke pouring in, like really low lying smoke from all the wildfires in British Columbia. There was about, uh, I think they said 500 wildfires in British Columbia currently, and just the smoke was just in the air and it was making it pretty hard to see. We got there on Thursday night around 8.30 or 9. Um, the outfitters were waiting for us in the barn. They made us feel at home right away. They helped us unload. They fixed us some drinks. Got, they made us ribs. The night, first night we got there, it was awesome. Um, they told us Friday morning we would get up and shoot bows and um, kind of check trail cams and check the stands out that we were going to be sitting in. And then Friday night we had the option to go out and scout. And so that's what I did. I went out and scouted my evening field that I would be sit sitting in for most of the hunt. They call it the Hilton. It's over about 50 acre, 40 to 50 acre alfalfa field. It is huge. I mean, nothing like I've ever hunted out in Michigan. The outfitter asked us to keep a diary almost of the time we got in, the weather, what you see when you see it and where it comes from. So I got in this stand about 6.15 and 6.30 I had a doe and two fawns out to the right of me a little bit. They hung out for a while and ate the alfalfa for most of the night. 8.30 comes out and I got a big nine and a decent eight point out to my left comes out of Jack's corner. The, the nine point we had pictures of all summer, really tall, really, really tall broad tines, almost as tall as regular tines. And he was definitely on my hit list. He was super nice, super tall. I love that buck. And then coming out of George's corner, there was a bunch of does and a really tall, wide eight point. It was almost like a square. It went straight out and then forward and he just had crab claws on the front, but he was a super nice buck. He was already out of velvet, which is super weird for that time of the year. It was a great scouting night. First day in the stand was absolutely awesome. Um, got in the stand in the morning around 6.15, just as the sun was coming up. Um, well, it's about uh, 7.30, opening morning up in Alberta. It is dead calm, there is no wind at all. second night was probably the most memorable, eventful night that I had there other than shooting my bear and shooting my deer. I saw seven different bucks that evening, an elk, and about 20 some does. Just 
Also, why it was so eventful and memorable for the second night was my dad shot a really nice buck. I mean, his big, biggest buck to date for sure. I know he was super psyched to come out on this hunt, mainly because he's got a bunch of health issues. I mean, he we didn't know if he was going to be able to go on the hunt, and we don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. And I was on this hunt with my grandpa, my dad, and me, so it was three generations. It was just a great hunt. I mean, he shot a super nice buck. He saw a lot to do that night. My grandpa saw a lot to do that, that night. It was just a good night for hunting. The third day, Monday, wasn't really eventful. We were fighting the weather. The deer were kind of still showing up, but nothing major big. But there, oh, the little bucks and the does were still coming down the same pass. So we decided that on Tuesday morning, we would sit the same morning stands, but then we would go check out the trail cams and see what was, what was moving and where it was moving and when it was moving. We didn't really have any big bucks coming up on camera, so we decided to hang more stands just to give us more options. So the outfitter kind of said, you know, kind of, kind of know what you're doing, so you just take the four-wheeler, I'll give you a stand and you just go hang it up. And then when you're done, we'll come back and we'll hang another stand for your grandpa. So I was kind of, I wouldn't say giving up on deer, but I was more focused on black bear because I had two black bear tags. So I hung the two stands, or I hung my stand in a spot where there was a lot of bear sign, kind of hoping to shoot a black bear and then I would switch back to deer. Sunday night, after all those deer spooked off and it was getting real dark, it was 8.50 maybe, I had a real big 10 point come walk 200 yards downfield, downwind of me, right at me, stopped at 35 yards broadside. Had my bow, had the camera on him, but I couldn't get a shot off because there was a low line branch. Well, it's about the fourth night. Um, I'm not sitting in my room. Lots of deer tracks too. I mean, we could get two animals tonight if we're lucky. Hopefully, we see some. We got some light rain coming in later. Wednesday night was awesome. I'll just say that the least. I mean, we had a storm coming in at 8 o'clock maybe, 7.30, somewhere somewhere in that time frame. Got in the stand at 6, waited, waited, thought I was going to see bear, thought I was going to see bear, thought I was going to see bear. Nothing. Nothing that whole hunt. And it started a downpour and super windy and I was in a tree that wasn't very big so I was swaying and just swaying. I was getting like seasick almost but I fought through it and I packed the camera up at like 740 because it's just raining and I didn't want to ruin the camera. <coughs> Got the camera packed up, camera arm taken down, put in my backpack, sat back I checked the weather Sat back down to check the weather on my phone, and I look up.
like I said, it was downpouring. So I got down and got on blood within three minutes. I got to the arrow where the arrow was on the ground and it was just five square feet maybe covered in blood. He must have been standing there laying down or something. But I decided to call Outfitter and wait for him to help me come track it. I was starting to think I wasn't going to be able to kill black bear. I saw lots of them, but they just weren't coming into range until Thursday. I went in there early, got in there about 12.30 in the afternoon, 1.45, here comes a black bear trucking down the side of the field. I was getting spooky because he just kept coming and coming and coming, but he stopped at nine yards and the rest is history. Damn it. It's been real windy out.
I think this is the end of Alberta 2018. Um, what a great